Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Guys, today we are going to be testing out uh, Bergwine. And before we test him out, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this channel and just kind of where it's at, right? Because I know that on the player reviews and everyone's player reviews, people get upset when you don't like a card that they like, right? And to give you perspective, let's say I have a card in my team like David Luis, right? And I love him. And I watch a video saying that some, and the video reviewer says that they don't love him, right? That is the opinion of the video. You clicked on the video to get an opinion. But I want to say one thing. There have been, a, for the most part, overwhelming positivity on the channel regarding whatever. I'm not going to say that every SPC is good just to make everybody happy. I am going to review the player and to give you perspective. I finish in the weekend league, usually, at a very high level, whatever that may be. That's not a flex. What that means is that I am very used to trying out players that fit the meta for the playstyle that I play to succeed in this game, which is a lot of passing, a lot of skilling, good dribbling responsiveness, and good finishing. That's what I like. Not everybody likes that. You know, Jim, who is a gold one elite three player, might like a hold up striker that I don't like, right? But just keep that in mind, guys, that when I'm trying out players, that's all I can do. I try to try them out for everybody. But at the end of the day, some players I'm just not going to get along with, period. Um, and, I, and I want that to be known because I just don't want you guys thinking that I'm just purposely saying cards are bad or cards are good. I am trying cards out for usually nowadays because they used to be two to three. A lot of them now are getting more games, at least like four or five games. And I'm kind of saying, here. so here's what I like, here's what I don't like. And I want to make that more of a thing in terms of is he bad or is he good. From now on, I'm just going to give you guys positives and negatives. That's how we're going to talk about these guys. We're going to say, hey... This was good. This was bad. If you're okay with this, then he's probably good for you. If you're not okay with this, he's probably not that good for you. So enough of that discussion. I just want to bring that up because I think it's important that we keep this healthy, man, on this channel. Like I, I, I didn't love Rashford for the price at 1.5 million coins last week. And there were some people that were so upset and offended by it. And I'm like, dude, I just didn't like him for the price. I thought that there were some better options. I thought that his balance wasn't amazing. But for some people, he's amazing, right? So it just, was for me, it wasn't the card for me. So uh, today, guys, you will be seeing Lacazette and Di Maria videos very soon, but because it is an SBC video, we are going to be getting a Bergwine uh, video up on the channel for you guys. Um, and this card, I want to talk about it really quickly because I have played seven games with this card um, total, and that's why the stats, six games, that's why the stats are going to be a little bit off. It's only two goals and three assists, right? So... This card, to me, I, I used them for three games yesterday, and I played Rivals during the week, which is always difficult to review players. It took me, I played 270, 50, 270 minutes of FIFA. I didn't have one shot in those games. So I, I said, scrap the gameplay. I didn't like him during that time, but I did learn a couple things about him. And I said, you know what? Let's run it back on stream this morning. Let's try him out in Foot Champions when we're ready to go. You know, we've, we've got the Foot Champs mode. It's, it's a little bit better than Rivals, I feel like. And that's what we did today. So we tried him out today. Guys, this SBC is worth um, 355k. Very expensive. Um, you know, it, it's not cheap. It is available forever, but it's not cheap. And we also have the likes of Daniel James. A lot of you guys have Bernardo Silva. So there are a lot of players that you guys have to go with this guy. But let's talk about him right away. Um, we'll introduct, introduce the player. You guys can watch some of the gameplay. And then we'll talk about him at the end. So with this guy... Um, He's an SPC card, 95 pace, 86 shooting, 86 passing, 92 dribbling, and 80 physical. To get this for the record, I am a Spurs fan. So, just to, just so you guys know, I am a Spurs fan. Um, medium, medium work rates, right? That's not always great for an attacker. Medium, medium is okay for a midfielder. For a guy that's attacking, it's not great. He's 5'10", 4-star skills, and 5-star weak foot. So, he did get the 5-star weak foot upgrade. He has fantastic acceleration, fantastic sprint speed. He's got... Great attack positioning. The shot power is also great. The finishing is a little low. Not super low, but you're going to want to boost that. Um, long shots at over 80 is good. Vision, crossing, passing is very good. Short passing at 93 is very good. Agility at 85 is good. Balance at 96 is good. Dribbling 94. Ball control 92. Uh, reactions are good as well. He's got good composure. He's got good strength, good stamina, good jumping. So if, if, on paper, it looks like a really good card, guys. It does. It really looks like a good, good solid card here. Um, you'd probably want to boost the agility in terms of things you want to boost here uh, or the long shots of the finishing. I don't know if you necessarily need to boost the pace. If you wanted to, you could do that. You could do like an engine, but the balance at 96 is, uh, is already really good. Um, now, right away, positions you can play this guy in, 
right mid, uh, you could play him as a right wing, a striker, even a cam if you gave him a little, you know, you gave him a little bit of that long passing boost. Even the short passing though as a cam at 93 is very good, finishing is good as well. He has flare trait, uh, so that no, no, no other crazy traits. And uh, yeah, so the team we used them in, guys, it was a prem team. It's not all assembled right now. We played a 3-4, 3-5-2. I think I switched to a 3-4-1-2. Um, and the position that we ended up playing him in, guys, was a striker. We ended up trying him as a striker. The first three games, guys, on Friday, on Thursday, I played him as a right mid. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, I did not like him there. His positioning was weird. His runs were awful for the medium medium. He was always out of position. So I would not recommend him in my gameplay experience to play a right mid. Um, I ended up playing him as a center forward on false nine and also a little bit of striker with Lucas Mora's uh, hero card. So that's what we ended up playing. If you enjoyed the video, guys, drop a thumbs up. I'm going to roll some gameplay and then we'll talk about him when we are yeah. done. Just, just go look at that video because he was very good. Nice turn. How am I doing? I'm chilling, bro. It's Friday morning. I'm just chilling. I'm literally just chilling right now, bro. Lucas. I feel like I'm having the same dislike with him because it's the stock. I don't know if I love his stock, you know? I think that's what we originally had talked about yesterday too, which was the concerning thing. His stock was like weird. Oh man, he already got caught up too? Chad, I don't think we had a bad review of him yesterday, man. I feel like the center back in that league is always questionable. I feel like every time I'm looking on the market, there's not really a prem center back. There's a couple, but there's not a ton, right, for how popular the league is? Oh, yeah, this guy this guy can't really turn, chat. No, no strength. No strength. He just got bodied. Ooh, heavy. Oh, my God. Because they know he can dribble it here. Man, he just he just finessed it to the keeper, no? I think he's about to get subbed off soon. You guys actually really like this card. Okay, that's a good run. No finish. Lucas cleans it up. Okay. He was nasty last year, bro. Havertz was disgusting last year. Nice run. Um, sir! Oh, that touch, bro. Come on. Oh, first one! Oh, my God! Oh, Bernardo! Run! Fake pace! Fake pace! He has fake pace! That is... How much pace does Laporte have? No, 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 no. How much pace does Laporte have? 64! Uh, this is the review account that we're on right now. Man, he gets pushed off the ball so easily, dude. For that stock. Like, usually players who have that stock are going to, like, hold the ball, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, that is how to run at defenders. A great read there to intercept. Good pass. His passing has been good, to be fair. Wow, great defending. Lucas Mora. Nope. A very good challenge. I feel like when I'm doing a move with him, I have to wait for him to respond to what I just did. Some players, you do a move and they just go, you know? This guy's taking a little time here. Alright, that's a nice assist. Again, his passing's pretty good, man. Like, that's probably the upside I've seen with him. His passing is good. Transition back to the middle, please. No, nope. see what I'm saying, chat? You play the ball into him. He Can looks at the ball him? before he turns, bro. He doesn't react well to that, man. James, yeah, I, I don't know if that's point. first touch or what it is, but it's it's Just definitely annoying. Let's kick off. 
Um, I have the same problem with Baby Butra. Really. What are like, not, right? Because, like, you can have a card that looks great, but if he's shit in delay, what's the point? You play most of your games on FIFA in delay. Come on, you better outrun him. Nice chip. Um, what instructions do I have on him? Um, I have get in behind on him. I believe get in behind. I think that's what I have, bro. Let me check. It's probably... Let's see. Just get in behind. No, this this one he's on a he's playing cam in this formation. Any specific red you want, I mean, you know, I would take a Neymar. <laughs> any, I really any usable red, bro. Like I got to use uh, last weekend. I got to use nine Golan, so that was pretty cool to pack. And progress made by Ozil. Can he produce from here? And Lucas. The post games. I'm telling you now, goalkeepers win. Run, run, run. Make a run. Good, 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 good. First one. No, it didn't register. Nah, no circles. He does not have circles. And now Kevin De Bruyne. It's with Bergwijn. Nah, 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 nah. The dribbling, bro. Chat, I'm gonna have to tell you guys all the pass on this card. It ain't it. Especially because he's really expensive. I'm trying to think right now what price I would recommend. Real danger. He must finish. Oh! oh! So guys, with Bergwine, uh today I believe we had two goals, three assists in three games. Maybe two goals and two assists. And I have to be real with you guys. For 350k, this card is absolutely not worth it in my experience. Um, I know that other creators may have had some different experiences with this card. The, the, here's the things that I didn't like with this card, and I'll also talk about maybe a, a thing or two I liked. What I didn't like about him, his runs were always very questionable, and I believe it is due to the medium medium. I messed around with a couple other instructions, but still, he was always out of position. Number two, uh, his stock in game. The way that EA have built his player body type in this game ha doesn't allow him to enjoy and embrace these stats. He has 95 agility with chemistry style, 99 balance, but yet I still can't turn this guy in response of gameplay. It has to do with his stock in game. I just am not a fan of the way he moves. So if you're a person that likes to do circle dribbling or quick agile movements, this guy is not for you in my opinion. Um, again, you may have a different experience. Um, number three, this was the third, the third thing that I thought was a little bit, a little bit questionable. Um, at times... And this has to do kind of with number one. In the final third, his runs, even in the final third, um, were were just questionable. And it's kind of the same as number one. But e number one, I was kind of talking about when we're transitioning, his runs were questionable. Like he was at CDM when I was trying to go forward. Um, even in the final third, his runs were questionable. Now, what did I like with this card? Um, I got a, When I did get a couple shots off today, they were good. Um, he scored a very nice chip shot. So the finishing, I think, is decent. And another thing that I liked with him, his passing was great. Uh, I noticed his passing to be very good. So those are two upsides with the card. But guys, I think for a card that is 360,000 coins, we have to say this is a no. It's a no, man. For me, it is definitely a no, guys. And we are going to have players coming into this game more and more every single week that I just think will trump this card. I just It sucks, guys, because I really like Bergwijn in real life, and I want to do this SPC on my account. But after trying him for at least six games now, it's just it's not this guy is not good enough, man. Um, he's not good enough. So I'm just going to try to keep it real in my experience in this channel. Again, you guys don't have to follow my reviews like it's religion. I just didn't like this card. I thought he was pretty bad um, for the value, obviously. And so, yeah, I know some of you guys really like him, and that's great, right? I'm, I hope you guys enjoy the card. I just did not like him. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.